Welcome to the Naked Newsroom. Apple has unveiled its new iPhone 16, and I'm not gonna lie, it's pretty impressive. The big physical change is the dedicated camera control button, but the biggest overall change is the more powerful chip built specifically to handle the new AI, as in Apple intelligence. The features of it include visual intelligence where you get search results for whatever you're pointing your camera at. The iPhone 16 is available for pre-order this Friday with prices ranging from eight to $1,200. But be warned, iOS 18, which will actually introduce Apple's new AI functions, doesn't come out until December. There was also bad news for Apple and Google too. Both tech giants lost appeals to the EU's highest court and are on the hook for billions. In Apple's case, the court found that the company had reached an illegal arrangement with the Irish government. And as a result, they owed the country over $14 billion of unpaid taxes. As for Google, it's officially on the hook for a $2.6 billion fine, resulting from antitrust behavior, specifically giving preferential treatment in Google searches to its own price comparison shopping service. And congratulations on watching news online, especially if you're in the UK. The broadcast regulator there, Ofcom, has found that online news services have overtaken TV for the first time ever. Admittedly, it was a squeaker with 70% of the population saying that they watch TV news and 71% claiming they get their news online. Mind you, TV still has an older media it can feel superior to. Newspaper readership was down to just 34%. I seriously don't know anyone who reads the newspaper anymore. That's your first look at the headlines today. I'll be back with more a little later, so don't go away.